<sighs> Have you tried 1,000 songs on your skin? I love meatloaf and cheese. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. So I've been playing around with uh, simplifying character uh, rigs when it comes to lip syncing. And I kind of like using this technique, which just, just involves two controllers. So you just have one here for the jaw and another for the tongue. So we can just pull the tongue out. And we also have the ability to scale the jaw controller here to widen and sort of collapse the mouth down to a kind of ooh shape. Uh, yeah, so I thought I'd just put together a little quick video just to show how this is set up. Okay, so if we go over to our armature and we show the second layer, we can see all the bones. Um, let's just focus on one. And some of these aren't particularly needed, uh, particularly when it comes to uh, the mouth shape, but I just have two bones for the head, uh, just so we've got a little bit of offset we can have here. Two bones for the eyebrows, a bone for, for the glasses, just so they can wobble around if need be, and these two bones uh, for deforming the mouth and the tongue. So one is just a jawbone, which is parented to the main head bone here, and with a target, or a constraint, sorry, to, not track two, that one's, don't really use that one, um, to stretch to another bone, which just has a custom object, a custom bone shape. Um, I've been really good at naming things here. Okay. Um, so with this, you can kind of move it around. I've also parented the tongue here in a much similar way to stretch to this other bone shape. So the bone shape parents to the jaw target and you can move both, both of them around and constrain them. But it, it's quite nice because you can do, you can create, um, just hide this second set again. You can create kind of nice sounds and grrrs and all that kind of stuff. And the shape key, the only shape key, first of all, we have a bass, which is just sort of a relaxed kind of idle face and, and an OOE shape key, which is just pursing the lips into a ooh shape, which happens to work quite nicely when it's reversed or inversed as a E shape. Uh, as we can see here, I've just got the minimum range at minus one uh, so that we can. It doesn't work here because it's hooked up to another little efficiency thing, which is a driver. So it's attached the driver is basically so the shape key is being driven by the target jawbone, the scale property of it. So that when you scale it up, the mouth widens up. When you scale it down, it closes up to the ooh sound, to the ooh shape. And just to quickly look at that driver, we have it there. We have the variable of this scale. Um, it keeps disappearing. There we go. We have the variable of this scale uh, multiplied by minus one to invert it, just so it, when I scale it up, the mouth goes wider and scale it down, the mouth goes smaller. Plus one is just to offset it a little bit. Um, so this controller doesn't have to get super duper tiny. And And then multiply by two is just to uh, increase the effect so it doesn't have to, so I don't have to drag the bone too far as well. And that's about it, really. Um, let's try it out with some animation. So I made a quick post on Twitter asking what a good phrase might be for a character like this. And there's some pretty good results here. Um, some people saying it looks like Steve Jobs. 
yeah yeah i guess so with the turtleneck and the glasses and stuff for sure uh super califragilistic expialidocious that's uh it's got most of the mouth shapes in so that's a great um one to test um yeah some some solid stuff um so instead of doing all of these because that would take ages i created a phrase that is kind of like an amalgamation or bastardization of all of the suggestions here and on the youtube post as well and that phrase is <sighs> have you tried 1000 songs on your skin i love meatloaf and cheese supercalifragilisticexpialidocious um doesn't really make much sense but you know it, it's as good as any to test this out um cool so let's load in our sound file switch our playback settings are we good audio scrub av sync nice let's switch on waveforms just for fun cool and let's get animating Okay, uh, done animating. Took about 20 minutes. Um, it, was a, it was pretty fun to do it as well, you know, uh, just two controllers, you're not having to delve through loads of keyframes and just a single shape key as well, which is good. Uh, let's look at the result. <sighs> Have you tried 1,000 songs on your skin? I love meatloaf and cheese. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Have you tried 1,000 songs on your skin? So it's it's missing some subtleties as well as obvious things like, you know, there's no particular controllers to emote stuff and smile and frown and all that kind of stuff. But for a stylized animation, I think it gets the point across. Um, it feels in sync. So hopefully that was a bit informative. Um, I find it a really useful technique and I'm just trying to kind of simplify things as much as possible because on some jobs you don't have a lot of time and this is quite quick to whip up both... Um, rig wise and animation wise uh if you do prefer more of a step-by-step -step tutorial then let me know or, or maybe this kind of style is enough to get the gist and you can kind of extrapolate anything else from there um if you do use this technique to make anything then let me know on twitter uh, at louisdumont.com uh, i'm really interested to see what you can come up with with that um yeah that's about it really thanks bye <sighs> Have you tried 1,000 songs on your skin? I love meatloaf and cheese. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I just realised as well I'm wearing the same colour as the character here, and the same colour stuff in the background. I'm not particularly fond of orange, just, just happens to uh, have turned out that way. <laughs>